Baba, can you hear me? Okay, you can hear me. Hello, Micromanch here. Bit of a different start today. This game was mental. The 6-4 win against Newcastle away from home. This is the game after the uh, second leg against Liverpool in the Europa League. And my God, I just, I would just like a nice easy win for a change, but... This is ridiculous. Our games against Newcastle are always quality. I am going to show you all the goals because it's just unreal. Hang on, there we go, back to the pitch. So we start off with a pretty poor effort, really. Herodeki letting in a very simple free kick and Lascelles just getting into the rebound. But we hit back quite quickly on 25 minutes with Sergio Oliveira playing a nice ball into Kenneth Brenner. He found Sisto out on the wing. He's been brilliant since he came in. He squared across to Arp to make it 1-1. And then on the 27 minute mark, a great ball over the top by De Litt, a poor header from Augustinstein and Kenneth Brenner ran onto it, put a lovely finish into the far corner to take us 2-1 up. We, were, we weren't really cruising, we were actually really struggling in this game to get a hold of it. In the second half, it really kicked off though. Sister played a good ball into De Litt and it's really poor keeping from Galaxy there, you have to say, to the, making it 3-1 with a header. Then Thorgan has a kick the ball against a Newcastle player. They play a lovely ball over to Asali, who gave me nightmares on that left-hand wing. Tipped it into Marino, and a lovely header into the far corner past Herodeki to make it 3-2. At no stage do I ever feel safe in this game, even when on the 63rd minute we actually made a lovely little chance down the bottom. Kenneth Brenner teed across to Arp, the two combining again, always, always looking for each other. It's superb to watch. That made it 4-2. Then Herodeki cleared the ball over. And what Danny Drinkwater was doing as the most advanced player in our team, I have no idea. But a lovely bit of control and a dinked finish over the keeper. Made him sit down to make it 5-2. And then we had another chance here with Fiete up to Drinkwater, who smashed it in in the 93rd minute. But it wasn't over there. 14 8 hit it in, and Sydney got himself a headed goal. And yeah, it's just an utterly mental game. I think I missed a goal in there somewhere. I don't know why the game missed a goal there. And we follow that up with a 2-1 away win at Anfield. It was a it was a nip and tuck game to be honest. As you can tell, Liverpool kind of bossed it a little bit, definitely in terms of possession. But we were again more clinical. Fiat Art put us in the lead on seven minutes. Jordan Henderson with a lovely equaliser, chested it down, lovely finish in the far corner from him on the 30 minute mark. And it was pretty even Stevens after that. But then Issa Diop got in in the final minute. Ball over, um, Oxford I think got a header in and then Fiat Arp just got in there and then nicked the ball into the far corner. It was a brilliant, brilliant game and that has actually now left us top of the table. United and City both have a game in hand. City now look like our closest challengers. 70 points, so even if they win their game in hand, they will be one point behind us. So every game now towards the end of the season is going to be massive. We have six fixtures left in the Premier League. United and City have seven, and we also have the Europa League to contend with. That's what's going to be up first today, our home leg against Torino in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. I think we can safely say the Champions League is now pretty much secure. It's about winning the title. And can we do a potential double and win the Europa League? Oh my God, if you'd offered me that at the start of the season, I wouldn't have believed you. I'm going to quickly mix the team around and then we'll go with the starting lineups and crack on with the game. I can't keep playing the same first 11 every game. We're going to get knackered and we're going to fall away in the latter stage of the Premier League. If you were to offer me which one I'd rather win, Europa League or Premier League, there's no contest. It has to be the Premier League. So we have to try and rotate it as best that we can. And with that in mind, Herodeki is in goal. Longlet is at left back. Diop and Felix make up the centre-back partnership. Johnny is out on the right because... I can't get Kenny Tete in. He seems to have taken over our, our Premier League right back position. Drinkwater and Oliveira make up the midfield too. Uh, I might actually swap him for Marky Noble. I'm going to give Marky Noble a run out today. Uh, Thorgan has Arden Sisto on the wings with Arp and Brenner up front. Hopefully they can just do the damage. We can rinse this in the first leg, get it over and done with, and then we have something to take back to. Uh, then we have something to take back to Italy afterwards. So who have they got then? Who have we got here to worry about? I know Baselli is quite good. Sirigu obviously is a very good player, very experienced. Um, Bai Niang could be a pain. He is a good player. There's no getting around it. Look at those physicals. Explosive springs to mind. Uh, and I think Inglese is also quite good. Yeah. See, again, I'd, I'd favour our team when I'm looking at their team over mine. I'm, I, I'm feeling ours. But the game of football was never won on paper. So we need to go out there and win. And I'm going to tell the boys just that. I expect nothing but a win here. Oh, that's not been the best team talk I've ever given. Try and save it a little bit. Okay, I've, I've got some people pumped for it. Two minutes in and we already have a free kick. Sisto tees it to Arp, who's always on the edge of the box by the looks of things. Sisto 
Goes around to to Felix. Oh, he's nearly go on. Oh, get in. Thorgan Hazard makes it one 0 after two minutes. Felix winning that header. He's a good attacking centre back. Felix wins a lot of headers, and that is the perfect start to this tie and to this episode. It was nicely worked. Sisto again has been absolutely brilliant. His delivery is second to none at the moment. He seems to always find his man. Lovely whip ball. Great header from Felix. Unlucky. And Thorgan is the first to react. Dinks it into the back post. We love that. Well done, boys. I really want to win this like 4 or 5 nil. We'll just get it done. Get it done now. And then we can rest up properly when we go to Italy. I don't want it to be tight. As we have a corner, it's a poor one from Hazard. It doesn't get past the first man. But Art oh, locks it back into Noble. Great reverse ball from Noble. Is it going to be a pen? No. Hazard, back post. Brenner. Oh my god, what a save from Sirigu. How has he checked that out? And how has Brenner not scored? Johnny's now picked up the ball. He's very good when he goes forward. He makes some little darting runs. This is the man we want to get it to. Sisto goes around his man. He teases it to the back post to Hazard. He's hit the bar. Just give it to Sisto, boys. Honestly. I think we signed Sisto for like 18 million or something stupid. Absolute bargain. He is pushing us over the line in all these games at the moment. No more to long there. All the attacking since we came down the left hand side. Zarp goes through on goal. He squares it to Sisto. And that is to Pion Sisto. Rapidly becoming one of my favourite players in this team. He's absolutely changed us since January. Well, not well. I mean, we're always getting goals. But it's nice to really have a real threat now from that right wing. Lanzini just hadn't been cutting it this year. Sisto on fire. We're on fire. 2-0. And it's been a good start to the tie. I'm just excited by what we can achieve with this team. I'm looking at it to like I'm even looking at it now towards next year whether we win the title or not next year uh, this year next year will be a proper title challenge season again uh, and more importantly we're going to have Champions League football so I'm looking at it trying to think about where can we really improve I still think the midfield in the centre is a department where we're really lacking and that's maybe one of the reasons why my formation kind of bypasses that a little bit it's because I know it's one of the weaker areas. And they play some nice ball around it, Torino uh, an away goal for them would be catastrophic. But that's a good ball out from Johnny to Arp. Now he's got the pace to take on his man. He whips a superb ball over the top. Sisto is in again. Could it be two for him? Oh, brilliant save from Sirigu. He's kept them in this. Safe to say it's been absolute domination there in that first half as it comes to a close. 12 shots on goal. Five of them on target. Torino haven't even had one yet. Solid. Well done, boys. There's a highlight straight away in the second half. And it's falling to Torino at the moment. Oh, I say that, but Baselli with a poor ball. Arps just let it run past him. He's gone around his man. I see Brenner. It's a good ball in. Yeah, didn't quite make it to him, but Sergio mops it up nicely. What's he going to do here? Oh, wonderful ball from uh, Sergio. Oh, this is magic football. See, uh, oh my God, Sisto gets another assist. Unbelievable. What football, what vision there from Sergio. And then from Sisto to head it back. The composure. There's originally a poor ball in by R, but I love this ball from Sergio. Oh, Spot that angle long though, he's really being into there and pressing that fullback roll and that head from Sisto. Oh, I cannot get over how good that is. I cannot get over how good that is. Brenner gets his customary goal. Now all we need to do is wait for Arp to get one. As the hour mark approaches, it's time to make some subs. I'm going to wrap Sisto up in cotton wool. Lanzini's going to come on uh, for the first time since it's quite a bad injury that he had for about three or four weeks, I think it was. And Dominic Slanky's going to come for Kenneth Brenner, who's got his goal. So we're going to rest him up. He needs to be ready for Southampton at the weekend. As Niang gets on the ball from place. Nice ball into Lelich. We're kind of a bit complacent here. And that's where Longler is still a little bit suspect. And that's that's not really ideal, is it? It's not ideal. 3-1. Mm. Yeah, you got to give them credit. They've come back in the second half a bit. Niang to Lelich. And play a nice ball over the top. Longer just got turned around on his backside. Falco play a good ball in. Nice header from Beloshi. You kind of think Herodeki probably could have claimed that, but that's probably me being a bit picky. Arp's coming off. Moise Keane's coming on. Hopefully he can get himself a goal as well. He's not been in the best form recently, so it'd be nice for him to kind of get back amongst the goals again. Falco with the corner. Niang, he tees it to the back post. and Oh, my God. I'm a little bit stunned. Golden Eager ticks it on at the back post. Hmm. Well... It was comfortable, and now I'm a little bit concerned. I'm really pissed off right now. How this is 3-2 is beyond me. They've not had a chance all game. And there is another highlight, 85 minutes in. Noble picks up the ball, knocks it to Hazard. We can make it 4-2, I'll feel a lot more comfortable. As Keane plays into Slanky, please finish. Thank God. Okay, well done, Dom. Well done, Moise Keane. A bit of composure. 
It's a classic West Ham win. Can't defend. Can bloody score, though. It was a lovely play in the end from us there. Keane played a lovely little ball through to Slanky. And to be fair to him, he's been on the fringes this year, Don, but he doesn't often miss, to be fair to him. He's a good player. Is he at the standard that we need for next season to kind of re-kick on? I don't know. I'd still fancy us to win the tie overall, but we're just making it so unnecessarily close. It always has to be dramatic. As King gets on the ball, release Solanke. Come on, Don, you've got the pace. Solanke hits it. Oh, that's another good save from Syria, who's really kept the tie in the mix at the moment. He's made three or four really good saves. That's a right pain in the arse that we've only won that 4-2. A win is a win. Can't complain too much, but mm, not not particularly happy. Pierre insists to go man of the match. I agree. So with that in mind, we're just going to rush on through and we'll see you at St Mary's for the Southampton game. We really need a win. And I would love a clean sheet. I'd give anything for a clean sheet. The, yeah, the last time we kept one was in that Liverpool game. Before that, we're actually in the league. We haven't kept one since, the, since New Year's Day. We haven't kept a clean sheet. So we've got to try and get one at some point, right? So, Southampton's up next. Let's see who's starting. It is going to be the usual suspect. So, it's a full strength lineup. Heredek is in goal. Longler, Oxford, Delit, Tete make up the back four. Drinkwater and Oliveira in the midfield. Uh, with Moise Keane and Sister on the wings. Up, Brenner up front. There's got to be something I can use for those two. Some sort of like short abbreviation. If you can think of one, put it in the comment section. So, Saints are playing 4 4 2. Mm, okay, we might not get that outnumbered in midfield. This should be, hopefully, all right. But they've got some good players there. Sam Gallagher's a bit of a handful in this game. Interesting that they're playing Tadic up front. As Romy who knocks it out to uh, to Widmer. That's a great ball over the top for Gallagher. This is where we're in trouble. I see Tadic in the middle. Tadic, great save from Herodeki. Got lucky there. Three minutes in. And the Saints have had the first chance. And they're back at it again. Diaz whips a ball in. But it's claimed well by Herodeki. Now can we build something from the back? Come on. I can see lots of options. Yeah, that's one. Keane hopefully will win that against Widmer. He has. And he's blocked a nice ball to Arp. He just heads on to Brenner. It's poor defending. There's a poor finish from Brenner. Oh, come on, Kenneth. Get with it, mate. Good save from Fraser Forster. Not something you hear a lot this season. It's one to Oxford from the goal kick. Oh, from the corner, rather. Brenner. Oh, my God. They've cleared off the line. Oh, come on. Half time's approaching, and it's not been good from us. Not not really at it today. Everyone's played like a 6.8, and the stats are fine, but like I've not seen a lot. That's what I mean. Keynes has played against the Southampton players. It's lucky to have gotten the ball back. Oh, knocks it to Brenner. Brenner hits it wide. It's all just nearly, but not quite. It's just not flowing today. Drink water. Oxford. Good ball over the top. Is Keane going to get there with his pace? He's not. Vidmer's got it. Poor ball back to Forster. Makes him hoof it clear. Gallagher's lost out to Oxford. That's a great header. Arp. Great ball over the top for Keane. Don't you dare shoot. Square it. Brenner. 1-0. Great goal. Lovely football. Better. Much better. I think that might be like Brenner's 32nd goal or something stupid of the season so far. Great header from Oxford there to win against Gallagher, who is a big lad. Art oh, played a lovely ball to Keane, and that man had the composure to pick out Brenner, who got on the other side of the goal. Other side of the goal? It wouldn't have scored that way. Other side of the defender, and tapped it in nicely. Bang. Result. You can't say we haven't deserved it. Look at those stats. Fiat Art's just taken a knock, so first thing to do is take him off the pitch. It's been a very dull second half, which in some ways I'm really happy about, and in other ways I'm a little bit nervous about. Um... I'll bring Lanzini on on the right wing. We'll rest Sister up because he's in such good form. Gallagher just heads over just as we come back to it. That's scary. We're letting them have too many chances now. Actually, that's the first chance we've let them have in the second half. I exaggerate, but I just want another goal. Put the game to bed. Oliveira is going to be our final sub. He's played really well, but it's time to... Uh, I'll tell you what, actually, we're going to put Lanzini in that Mazzala role and we'll have... Hazard out on the right hand side we'll mix it up a little bit get Lanzini in a more central position see if he can make things happen there's another highlight five minutes from the end but fortunately it is up the Southampton end of the field and we have the ball we had the ball a poor cross in from uh, Kenny Tata and Gallagher that's a great ball over the top Andre Gray is not going to get caught there what a tackle from the lit I tell a lie he's obviously been training with Usain it, it doesn't matter it just doesn't matter Ah, well, hmm. 
Uh, it was superb pace from Delir and great tackle. Poor from longer that he stood off his man. Classy tipped out. Oh, come on. What? You could have had two Herodekis in goal and not save that. There's a highlight straight from the kickoff. Come on, do not let Southampton win this. We deserve to win this. We've battered them in this game. I do not want, I've been barely FM'd all season so far. Touch wood. I don't want it to start now. Not when it matters. Solanke to Hazard. Go on, skin him. Skin him. Thorgan whips it in. Solanke. Oh, that's a poor header. Oh, God, no. Diaz has got it. He's knocked out to Gallagher. Not another ball over the top for Gray to chase. Romeo. Gray. He could change the game on his own here. He's knocked it to Diaz. This is going to be a Southampton goal. Oh, my God, it's Romeo. It's classy. It's a great save. <gasps> Brilliant tackle from Longer. I've not even gone attacking. What is going on? We're just about to enter the five minutes of injury time. Great play by Hazard to nick the ball back there. He plays a nice ball to Delit. Oh, stop doing that. It's scaring the crap out of me. So I think he doesn't win his header, but Drinkwall mops it up nicely. Keen. There's got to be a ball over the top here. Brenner. Brenner win that. Keen. Solanke, come on, Dom. Come on, Dom. <laughs> get in. Come on. Yes. So I'm having to be quiet because I don't want to wake my neighbour up. But get the f in. Get in, Dom. We are the kings of late goal drama. I love it. Like Fergie's United. Brenner did well to kind of win that for a quite a... Not the biggest man in the world. And Dom, I told you earlier, when he gets chances... Nine times out of ten, he does not miss. Dominic Solanke, you are a beautiful man. On the fringes, still a hero of this save. Don't you dare. Great header from Reese Oxford. Get in! A massive, massive win. We deserve to win that. I have, like I said earlier, I've barely been FM'd this season, and that would have been an absolute killer. Dom Solanke, mwah. I love you, mate. That will keep us top of the table. United dropped points to Huddersfield. You beast, Huddersfield. Jack Grealish, who always scores against me, has scored against United for a 1-1. City did beat Leeds. United are falling away when it matters most, but City are right on our heels. The goal difference is coming down a fair bit. I was hoping we could get more against Southampton, and that would have kept us within touching distance in terms of goal difference. The top four races heating up as well. Look at that. You've got Spurs, Liverpool and Arsenal on 60. Chelsea on 59. And even Palace, who've got a game in hand on 54. Not far behind. Well, you know what's going to happen in the next episode anyway. It's going to be the away game against Torino, where hopefully we'll get through. And then a really difficult game at home to Arsenal, who are obviously chasing the top four, as we just saw. They just got hammered by Liverpool. So let's hope that that's kind of not the stuffing out of them a little bit. I'm just getting so tense now. It's bloody exciting. It's so good. It's so good. Thank you so much for watching the episode. If you have enjoyed it, then please do like, share and subscribe. And make sure you come back for the away league against Torino. And also the Arsenal game as we chase a Premier League title. And potentially European glory in the same season. Can we do the double? I'm beginning to believe. But I'm not expecting. Until I see you next time. Stay cool.